is good everybody welcome back to another my name toys video today we are back with a two in one wwe elite series review on the wwe elite series 102 gunther and austin theory figures now one thing that's actually really interesting about gunther and austin theory at this moment is that you're looking at your current intercontinental and current united states champions in this set review and this is the newest set so i think that's really awesome i don't know if that's ever happened in the channel's history i don't know if that's happened in the mattel history you know the, the two two mid card champions in the same set, let alone being reviewed at the exact same time here on the channel. Now getting into these figures, we did see these on display at WrestleMania Access of the WrestleMania Superstore out in LA for WrestleMania 39, and these look so good, man. They really, really do. I think that, you know, I'm not a big fan of the head sculpts on Austin Theory, I'll be honest with you. I think they're a little bit too cartoony for my taste, but I am excited for these, even though I'm not a big Austin Theory guy, and I still call this guy Walter, but uh, you know what? I'm only human, Brad. Now getting into these, do have your front viewing window of Gunther here looking good in the red gear, looking like Gru. Looking pretty good. You got Gunther on the side, Gunther on the back, Gunther in text. Dude, I'm so goddamn sick of this review station falling over at just a, a little tiny touch. We're definitely going to take a closer look at these head sculpts, but uh, I like the Captain America gear. I think it's cool and everything, man, but we won't know how well these guys perform, how good they are, until we crack them out of their packaging and find out what they're all about, man. So with that being said, let's crack Gunther and Austin Theory out of their packaging and find out what the hell we're getting ourselves into. So here's Gunther and Austin Theory out of the packaging, man. Really enjoying these again, man. The Mattel quality is insanity with these two guys. I think they knocked it out of the park. Guys feel immaculate in hand so far. I cannot wait to get into their accessories and break down all the details. Of course, they're not perfect, but we will break all the details down and we will rank this set when it is time. And I'm actually very intrigued. Getting into these and then getting into the rest of the set is going to be very intriguing to see which figures come out on top in my damn thoughts. So that being said, man, let's dive into Austin Theory's accessories and Austin Theory and then we'll run it back and take a closer look at Gunther's accessories and Gunther. Alright man, so getting into Theory's accessories, starting out first, we do have our Captain America style entrance vest, or I guess, it's most definitely Captain America inspired, I actually even, I heard it from the horse's mouth, I heard Austin Theory say that it was Captain America inspired, so I don't need your conspiracies. But it looks good, you know, it's a solid vest, I, I don't know if we've seen this sculpt before, it kind of looks like a Seth Rollins vest, re, you know, just repainted pretty much, you got like your uh, stripes down here, the zipper, the logo, pretty cool here, I think it gets the job done, and you can't clasp it in the back. We've seen this before, it probably won't be the last time. I wish that we could get like a cloth version, but I guess I, I don't know how that would be feasible. I guess maybe in the future we could see like a mixture of cloth goods and, and hard goods and similar to like what we've seen with the Jeff Hardy from the two pack of Triple H or something, but this looks good and gets the job done. Now these are the head sculpts. We get two interchangeable head sculpts and this one is better than this one, but these are both just so damn cartoony, man. And I guess you know, they're a little, they're supposed to be cartoony but I'm just not a fan of either of them. I just think they look very wacky. I like this one more, I guess, because I think it has better likeness. But this one right here is just so cartoonish. It reminds me of, like, I don't know, Looney Tunes or something like that. But, yeah, I mean, they're not my favorite, but I could always head swap it, so it doesn't bother me that much, but I definitely prefer the basic head sculpt that we've seen. But I guess it is cool that they try to go for outside the box. I'm just not a personal fan of it. These just, yeah, they just don't get the job done for me. Then we have the tiny cell phone accessory for your selfies here, and it looks like an iPhone. You got the three cameras there. I actually have an iPhone, so I, I know that this is supposed to be an iPhone and you know you don't get like a green call button or nothing it's just a black sculpt here but it's a cool accessory it's very tiny though so you got to be careful but you know it gets the job done for a phone I mean what do you want with I don't think we've seen a smartphone from Mattel before but I do have multiple smartphones from different companies third party and stuff like that so it is cool to have an official Mattel one I think the closest we've gotten is on the selfie stick with T Tyler Breeze and then outside of that you do get the mic holding weapon wielding style hands which make the world go round and then to make it easier to hold the cell phone, I guess they gave us these like choke slamming style hands, which I guess aren't the end of it, but I guess fists or maybe some like Jeff Hardy style, like, you know, he does this in his entrance that's similar to that. Maybe he could have made that work, maybe, but people probably would have bitched about that or something. So they just went with choke slamming hands, which makes it easier to hold the phone, I guess. But honestly, it's a bit too wide to hold it, I've found. So like it just slides right through. So in my personal opinion, I think take the hand here and then just slide it in this little gap right there and that, that works. So I don't know why they gave us choke slamming hands but yeah who am i 
All right, so getting into theories, head sculpt starting off the top. We already discussed it. I'm not really a big fan of it. However, I do like it better than that, like, kissy, blowy face, which I'm not a fan of. So, you know what? That gets the job done for me. Head sculpt seems to be a little bit downsized, I think, but I like the formula they use for theory. Joint arms. Like, honestly, this man's massive. You could probably go a little bit bigger in the arms. You could probably go a little bit bigger in the in the chest as well, but I'm not going to flack it, you know? Like, while him and Finn Balor are jacked in their own right, Finn is much more lean, and then theory is much more, like, mogged out and then Finn Balor's more like dice so you know you got that going for it but they use the same torso and arms so I guess you know I digress you do have the Captain America gear down here which I think is cool I always loved you know the Avengers Captain America I'm a big Marvel fan so this is sick as hell and it's pretty much the Avengers font back there so that's pretty cool you even have, like, the Atlanta skyline, I think, back here. I think. I'm not... Yeah, don't quote me on that, Brad. You also have All Day on his wristbands, which is pretty cool. AT over there. And then you have All Day on the knee pad. And then you have the Theory logo with the skyline again. And then you have the A there. AT. Austin Theory. A-Town down. Now, Theory's figures can actually pose around really well because he's on ball joints. So he can literally do anything you need, man. I mean, the, this figure right here feels fantastic in the hand. He has fantastic posability. He can do anything you need him to do, man. Like, he, he gets... He, he checks all the boxes, man. I don't have any issues with that. But now that we don't have, like, uh, we, we, we've seen this body mold and stuff like that, let's get into some figure comparisons for Austin Theory. Straighten that arm first. Now, let's get into some... Austin Theory figure comparison. So for your Austin Theory figure comparisons, you do have the new Elite 102, and then you have the former Austin Theory Elite, and both of these are very solid entries. Of course, he is the current United States Champion, and this belt's gonna look sick as hell on this gear. One thing about the U.S. Championship, man, I wish they would take it and just fill in behind these stars, behind the main plate. I know this is off topic, but if you filled in blue, like a royal blue behind these stars, this title would look a million times better. Why don't they do that? I don't know. But again, like Lights are too bright for me. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Now, looking at Theory with this championship, with this gear, and now, look at that right there, man. That looks pretty damn good, and I don't even like Theory, but that red, white, and blue, that cap gear, I mean, let freedom ring, damn it. All right, man, so Gunther's accessories look damn good. I'm just gonna get into it. You don't get a whole lot, but you do get this red entrance coat, which I'm gonna be honest with you, I think they should have, I don't know if it was in the cards, but I think if they had used the material, like, I love the cloth goods, right, but I think it was supposed to be like that dryer style material, like, I don't know really what I'm trying to say, but I think the material they used on the Legends Undertaker and that Undertaker that came in that three pack, that raw three pack with Razor and one, two, three kid, using that but in red would have been fantastic with this. Can you imagine that? I think that would have been sick as hell. But you do get like some buttons on here, which again, I prefer this over rubber like any day of the week. It, like, if giving me this instead of rubber will trump getting the, you know, the, the material right or whatever. But this is still cool. I like this a lot. It fits on the figure well, and I don't have any complaints about this. I just, if I could offer a suggestion, I think the Legends Undertaker material for this jacket would have been sick as hell. And then for interchangeable hands, you do get the world going round mic holding weapon wielding style hands. And what would Gunther be without knife edge chop style hands? Or, in my circles, known as Ricochet Kawhi Leonard handshaking style hands. Alright man, so getting into the Gunther figure, starting out the head sculpt, I like it a lot. It reminds me a lot of the ringside exclusive, almost pretty much identical, but it is changed slightly, which we'll get into in the comparison shot of the video. We do have this brand new torso, which has tons of potential for new guys. I mean, they could legitimately use this for so many different people, and I hope to God we get this used to its full fruition, and we actually get it used on a consistent clip, so that, you know, we could use this on some guys that deserve it. And we can get away from, like, damn, there's so many guys that they could use this for. You have the new striated shoulders. We got the double jointed arms in here, which, again, these are arms you could use for Austin Theory, and I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't doubt it. I think his arms are massive. I do have a little paint chip right here on my white bar, so that definitely bums me out right there. There's, like, some paint chip. I can fix it, but it's still annoying, but you have the red trunks with the black on the back. Pretty plain Jane gear. Same thighs and legs we saw on the ringside exclusive Walter. He does have his striped socks, and then he's got his black and white boots, which get the job done for me. I, you know, I love it. I think it looks damn good. Now, this is a new torso, so as far as ab crunch, that's about what you're getting there. Not a ton of ab movement there, but the waist is tight. You know, uh, he, he moves around fantastic. Like, I'm not getting any stiffness out of him. He does all the good stuff. He's on ball joints, upper thigh cut, of course, double jointed knee, boot rotation. One thing I did notice is my hands loose, I guess, from like switching it out, which that happens from time to time on Mattel figures. Not like a huge deal, but it does need to be something maybe they could fix in the future. But as far as Walter figure comparisons, we do have our, uh, our fix up here. So this is 
actually, I gotta, like, this is, this guy's so damn tall, I gotta move him back. And so this was the ringside exclusive Walter legs on a Mean Mark Callis Legends Elite with the Walter head sculpt. So I cannot show you, like, the transformation because, I mean, look, they use the exact same legs and boots and socks there. And this worked great, I thought, for an updated Gunther, you know? Like, these have the same exact arm size, shoulder size. Torsos are slightly different. Like, this one's slightly taller, which is why he, like, towers over him here. I think Walter's supposed to be, or Gunther's supposed to be 6'4", which this is probably more like 6'10", or something like that. And then, if we bring in Austin Theory, who's actually supposed to be 6'1", like, they, they scale uh, pretty decent. I mean, 6'4 to 6'1 would probably not be this big of a gap. Like, that right there, that would not happen with a 6'4 person. At least, I don't think so, but, you know, the light's too bright for me. What do I know? But the reason this worked so well is like, look how damn cool that was. It worked for a time. It definitely worked for a time, even if he was too tall for an instant. But I'm definitely going to switch him back now that we have this updated Gunther. I'm going to be switching this guy back to Walter. And if you guys wanted to see what the Intercontinental Championship looks like on this guy and all that different stuff, here it is. You know, it looks pretty damn good. So we have our current Intercontinental Champion. And then you can get the U.S. title. And uh, this could, I mean, I, I mean, shoot, these guys hold the championships long enough at Survivor Series. We may see this match matchup take place. U.S. champ versus IC champ. But I think that pretty much wraps up our 2-in-1 WWE Elite Series 102 Gunther and Austin Theory figure reviews, man. I apologize for the rotating base. Damn! I don't know, man. I gotta get a new battery for it. I guess I pro I'm gonna do that today, I guess. I have like a laundry list of things I gotta do today. And I'll just freaking add that to the list. I'll just put it on there. I like both these figures a whole lot. I think they represent the characters that we see on our televisions perfectly. And that's all you can really say. The biggest con that I see with both of these figures is going to be Austin Theory's head sculpts. Everything else, I love. I love the new updated Gunther formula. I love the new torso. I like the arms choice. I like the shoulder striations. Great gear. Captain America, who doesn't love that? I'm gonna get the basic Austin Theory head sculpt and put it on here and call it a damn day. Because the first Austin Theory Elite from what was it? Like Elite 89 or 90 or whatever the hell it was. That Austin Theory had a massive head sculpt and it was not proportionate to its body. So I know for a fact this one won't be. But I'm going to get that new basic and I think that'll be really cool. But I love these figures, man. I think you should go grab them right now. Go go get these from Ringside Collectibles. Use code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. I would prefer this theory over the first theory. I think that this Gunther is great. And now that I have this Gunther, I'm going on surgery. I don't know if this has happened ever before, but we're going to take our Walter and we're going to revert him back to the original Walter because now we have an updated Gunther and now I don't need that updated formula Walter figure. I can redo him into Walter so that'll be really cool. I think that'll be interesting on the next surgery. I need to order that Austin Theory Basic I guess for surgery as well and we got some stuff we got to do but use code MD Toys when pre-ordering over at Ringside Collectibles guys. I don't know if they're in stock right this instant or if they're on back order or sold out or what the case is over there but definitely go get your orders in man. I appreciate you guys so very much. I want to know your thoughts on these figures down in the comment section below. I can't wait to rank Elite Series 102. I think it's a solid set so far. But that is going to wrap up this video, guys. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts on these figures down in the comment section below. Huge shout out to our patrons of the MDT YouTube channel. Always appreciate those guys. If you guys are interested in becoming a patron of the channel, definitely go click the link in the description below. Pro Wrestling Tees for merch. Got some cool designs over there that you want to take advantage of. I'd greatly appreciate it. Show your support of the channel. But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a blessed one, and I'll see you next time. We'll never back down.